Good morning and welcome to ASI's Tuesday Morning Show, where ASI's most outspoken editors talk promo products. I'm Melinda Lagos, here with you today, and it's a very, very special day, isn't it, Kathy? It's so special. This is ASI Radio's sixth anniversary, and we're all still here, the original oh, host. How about that? Thought? Yeah, I thought very, one of us would be dead by happy. now. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> happy anniversary. Michelle got, wow, the works. We've got cake, champagne, mimosas, I'm gonna pop balloons. It's taking yeah, a Joe. while. You, but this is because this is Michelle's favorite activity every week, so she, so she wants Drinking? to celebrate with <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Full fanfare. You know, we actually, I'm glad we have champagne because we have another really big milestone to celebrate. Last Friday, someone in this room had their 20th, not Andy Cohen. No. Oh. 20th anniversary with ASI, Joe Haley. Yeah, that's right. So how about that? <laughs> that's pretty awesome. So no, let's on. toast. Well, he's he's pouring champagne. Wait, how come he has Do champagne and here? no orange juice? Yes. I drank the orange juice already. Pass the bottle. <laughs> All right, we're going to pour our glasses. And in just a moment, we are going to toast oh. to ASI <laughs> Radio Show's sixth anniversary and <laughs> Joe Haley's 20th. We only have yeah. 14 more years to go at the radio show, and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll have Joe's <laughs> tenure. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy just looked horrified. <laughs> Um, Vinny Driscoll he is here too, one. one of our original peeps. Here, Kathy. Uh, Thanks, so Michelle. There we have it. And he likes peeps at Easter time. A little marshmallow. <laughs> ah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. You don't have any champagne. <laughs> it's coming their way. It's coming their way. Um, all right, That's let's true. toast thank to you. six years of ASI Radio. Congratulations, mm-hmm. guys. Thank you to all Chink. our listeners and our sponsors. Chink. Chink. Um, it's been a lot of fun, I'm sure. Salute. All of us would agree. Now, Joe, yes. um, I got yes. balloons all Only over the, the best of 20 time. years. <laughs> we're going to have a big celebration this Thursday. Yes. Uh, a bunch of us are going to see the Phillies in yes. your honor. Blues. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> <laughs> no, that's not nice. <laughs> Who are they playing? Um, Joe Haley, you've been Giants. here 20 Giants. years. Yes. Um, who's the first person in this room that you met, and what did you think of them? Uh, in this room, it was Kathy. Uh-huh. What did you think of me? Uh, yeah, I thought she We don't have it long enough to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was super smart. Super smart. And very nice. All right. She thought I was a big dork. I did. You did? Well, well I wasn't really far off, <laughs> And it I? exists to this day. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what, a year later or so, you met Michelle? When did you meet Michelle? Yes. Uh, or a few years First of all, later. I don't think she thought you were a big dork. A little dork. <laughs> And then I wow. met Michelle. She <laughs> came in for an interview. Suddenly this turned into a Joe roast. <laughs> Did you interview Michelle? No. No, no, no. But she, she came in to say hi. She was wearing a leather jacket, and it was like her voice. It was like someone driving over a cat. <laughs> backing up over a cat. Really? <laughs> a black Listen leather jacket? Listen to it. Uh-huh. Yeah, she came in a leather jacket. Listen to it. And what did you think of her? Did you think she was like Rizzo and No, nice? I, I, I thought she was sassy. It I was, was like, a Versace, FYI. <laughs> <laughs> Rizzo and Grease, yeah. yeah. So I wasn't a pink lady. She, yeah, she's yeah. another Tuscadero from Happy Days. <laughs> um, no, I, I thought there's no way she would ever make it here. There were too many rules and regulations. And I look, look at her now. now. Yeah. Seriously. See what actually. happens when you make them conform to you. Michelle, you've mm-hmm. been here now for how many years? 17. Wow. All right. Lots of tenure in this room. Very impressive. Um, well, anyway, happy birthday, ASI Radio. We have a great show for you today. Um, to celebrate our anniversary, we've got a bunch of trivia questions. Um, and if you call in and when we ask you a question uh, and you get it right, Joe, we're going to give you a $25 gift card, That's aren't right. We? we are. So we'll do that bucks. in just a little bit. Um, you can start calling now, though, at 2 and 5 9 5 3 Four nine seven nine, and we'll get you on the air with those questions as soon as we can. Joe, what else is on tap for today's show? Well, our friend from the West Coast is going to call in with his product safety minutes. That's Mr. Lee and Lee. We also have um, an ASI Chicago best places to work conference recap. recap. Well, that's a lot to say. Are you okay? We t- <laughs> the top ten ways to increase workforce. Por- oh, <laughs> okay. Maybe we should just move on. No more champagne. <laughs> Nine qualities of truly confident people. Six tactics to become a better negotiator. Ten things successful people never say. We also have our favorite products. And we have a special call in, too, as I understand, in addition to Mr. Leeton Lee. But that'll be a secret. But let's go to the industry <laughs> news in 60 <laughs> seconds with Andy Cohn. Go. What was in that glass? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. We begin this morning with product safety news. On the heels of the Jetline recall of power adapters. Two weeks ago, retailer Popkiller has recalled a USB car charger product sold in its stores between June t- 2013 at April 2014. Much like with the Jetline recall, the retailer said the chargers can overheat and cause a fire or electrical hazard to consumers. This is the third mobile charger recall within the past three months.
three months. Awards News Now, counselor named Alpha Broders Norman Hollinger as its Person of the Year at a celebration in Chicago last week. Also, Suzanne Warwood from 4imprint took home the magazine's International Person of the Year. Check out Promogram today for video interviews with all 10 of the individual award winners. More awards news now. Counselor unveiled its Best Places to Work list at its second annual Best Places to Work conference last week. The Leading the list, which has 90 members this year, is Alabama distributor firm Concepts and Associates. Check out the complete 1 to 90 rankings on CounselorMag.com right now. Distributor acquisition news. San Carlos, California-based KLNP Marketing has acquired fellow San Carlos distributor Safe Designs. Safe Designs owner Linda Westwood will remain as a consultant for the company, which will operate as a division of KLNP. The combined companies expect to have revenues of more than $10 million in 2014. And finally, make sure to check out the latest episode of the Joe Show and Program today. Joe, what is hot for today? Andy, I have a USB charging cable that looks like a Swiss Army knife. Ooh. Right. I thought you were going to say a Swiffer. It's Swiffer. Oh. It's like a Swiffer. <laughs> but it's orange. It's and not it has red. a brush on the end. And it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's actually pretty cool. You have to watch the Joe Show to see that. You do. Check it out in program today. All right. Thanks, Andy. Now we're going to go to the phone and talk to our friend Leighton Lee, who has some new information on BPA. Good morning, Leighton. Good morning, everyone. I, I have a feeling you guys may have uncorked a bottle of bubbly well before the show started. This <laughs> You're all I great. think well, Joe, Joe did. did. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Uh, congratulations to ASI Radio for number six, and also Joe for number 20. Wow, well, thank you, Lee. As I was listening to all that, I'm going, man, that's a lot of ASI shows in way too many cities. And from an eating standpoint, of course, when you're at the conventions and shows, you're always hungry. I go, that's a lot of convention center hot dogs over 20 years. Yeah. Boy. It is. It is. Oh, man. Anyways, all right. Well, uh Today's topic is about BPA. I know we talked a little bit about BPA in the past uh, in Product Safety Minute, but three Democrats recently introduced a federal bill uh, to ban BPA in all consumer products um, and all food, uh, food and beverage containers. Now, we've never had a federal ban on BPA. There are a number of states in the country that have banned BPA in beverage and food containers for children, and a couple of them have been it in adult sports bottles, but that's really about it. But this is the first time that uh, anybody has introduced a federal bill to ban it in uh, any food containers. That includes all the soup cans and food container cans that you buy off the shelf at the supermarket. Those cans have an epoxy resin coating on the inside. So when you're opening a can of soup or stew or chili and you look inside the can, there's a yellowish tint to the inside of the can. That is an epoxy resin coating. But most of those from reputable companies uh, have BPA-free uh, liners or coatings in them. But still, some of, them, uh, some of those liners do have BPA in them still. So uh, what can we do about it as an industry? Just, just get ready. Distributors out there that are listening this morning, make sure you source from suppliers uh, – uh, for your food containers and your beverage uh, where that uh, they're reputable, that they have all the testing, and that they can provide you with copies of the testing. Um, but that way you, you can be ready for, for this bill once it passes. I'm sure it will pass. Uh, next week, uh, just a little heads up because of the jet line uh, recall a couple of weeks ago, uh, which I fully applaud. I think they did a great job in being proactive after a few incidents came to their attention and they just did the right thing. So I applaud Deadline for the recall. But we're going to talk a little bit more about electronic goods, the USB chargers, and so forth next week. So you all have a great uh, anniversary celebration there today, and uh, uh, make sure you have a designated driver going. <laughs> all right, Thanks, we will Thanks morning. so much. Um, all right, now, as promised, we have a special surprise guest. Andy Cohn, why don't you introduce our next guest? Well, we named uh, Alpha Broder as I, Alpha Broder's Norm Hollinger, as I said in the news a little while ago on the show, as our person of the year last week in at our Counselor Award ceremony in Chicago. And we have Norm on the line with us now. Norm, how are you? Very well, thank you, Andy. Norm, you could have... you. Work just down the street. You could have come over and had champagne with us. Yeah. I know. We we laugh that we're a driver and a pitching wedge away from each other. That's a good thing. <laughs> so Norm, we uh, we honored you and Alpha Rotor for kind of overcoming and uh, dealing with a whole dizzying array of change over the last six to twelve months. How have uh, have you 
gone through that, and how have you managed to uh, to steer the ship through all that change? Well, um, clearly, uh, you, no individual can do any of that. It was it was a group effort between our management team and our equity sponsors. You know, we're very fortunate to have a, a private equity group that works very very well and very closely with us. And you know, we've really fleshed out our management team over these last couple of years. And and um, it's it's clearly takes a you know to use your analogy of, of steering the ship. It takes an awful lot of folks to get the sails uh, right and to, and to get everything right on on board to to move ahead. And and really, that's been the key. We've, we're just very fortunate to have a very, very collaborative team, um, both from a management perspective, a private equity perspective, and really the folks on the front line, um, you know, selling and operating the business. And so you've had some acquisitions over the past year, including Ash City, which was a big one, and you've changed the name of the company, and you've rebranded, and you've hired some new people. So that is a tremendous amount of change. So the next question, I guess, is what's next for you guys? Well, you know, we're going to digest um, the uh, the Ash City deal here for the next short while. Our private equity group is looking at, at some other uh, deals that will make sense for for us. But but really, you know, the the key to, to to our strategy going forward is that we just want to do things that that help our customers succeed. So we're not looking to just get big or acquire companies for the sake of, of top line revenue or perhaps even 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 bottom line profits. We're we're really looking at at rounding out our offer to the customer. You know. We're, we're convinced that the folks in, you know, the ASI world, you know, they, they want to become more efficient. They want to spend more time selling, less time sourcing, you know, more time um, out in front of their customers, less time in the back office. And so we want to provide an entire suite of products and services. So we're looking for, you know, for companies that can help us provide that full service uh, that we want to provide to our customers. Very good. All right, Normal, thanks for joining us on our sixth anniversary show. If you want to come down the street, we have uh, champagne and cake here, so I'll, we'll leave I'll, some for you. I'm rushing over now. Thanks. Congratulations, Norm. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to pause for a message from today's show sponsor. When we return, call us now, 215-953-4979. Um, we're going to ask you some ASI radio show trivia questions, and you're going to win some valuable prizes. Haynes Branded Printware has a new website designed specifically for screen printers and promotional product distributors. HanesInc.com features detailed product information and resources to help you make the most of Haynes t-shirts and fleece. For the first time, you can download high-res front and back hollows of every product in every color in the format and resolution you need. Apparel pages are organized by color and product line, so you can easily find exactly what you're looking for. In addition to high-res hollows, you will also find helpful sales tips on every product page. Each product is assigned a helpful return on investment scenario to illustrate the untapped return potential for you and your customers in every interaction. In our resources section, a dedicated return on investment page provides additional questions and insight to help you better understand how to meet your customers' needs with better products and better guidance. Visit HanesInc.com today for high-res hollows, sales tips, and many more resources. Welcome back to ASI's Tuesday Morning Show. We're celebrating our sixth anniversary and Joe Haley's 20th anniversary with ASI. we got lots of celebrations yeah. going on here. It's just Have a it. party day. Celebrate the time, Andy. Party week. Come Celebr on. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to give away some money now, guys. Um, call us 215-953-4979. Um Answer some trivia questions, and we're going to give you $25. And who knows, Joe may be feeling generous and throw in some other things into the prize pack. So on line one, we have Margaret. Margaret, are you ready for some ASI radio show trivia? Hello. How are you all today? We're great. How are you? I'm doing better. I'm talking to you all. Yeah. Okay. Aww. Where are you from, Margaret? North Carolina. Can't you tell by that, y'all? Yes, yeah. we thought so. <laughs> All right, here's, um, here's a good one. I like this question, Margaret. Which host on ASI Radio wakes up in the morning, looks in the mirror, and says, you're adorable? And I'm going to give you a hint. Well, it's one of five of us. I'm going to say right now it's not Andy Cohn. <laughs> so your choices are Kathy, Joe, Melinda, or Michelle. What do you think? Michelle. Oh! <laughs> No, try again. You've got uh, Kathy, Michelle Joe, or Melinda. Michelle says other things to herself in the mirror. And Kathy. I am adorable. Kathy, you, you got it. It's ding, great. Ding, ding, ding. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> Michelle that's looks right, at herself and goes, right. you again? Kathy has a great attitude. I think we all could 
do well by following that. All right, well, congrats, so Mark. I chose Michelle because it started with the same name as me. Oh, well, that's a good guess. Um, but you got it with Kathy. We're going to give you $25. Joe, Margaret yeah. was such a good sport. What else should we give her today? Let's give her some finger puppets, some hand fans, and uh, let's throw in a piece of logoed ASI Radio drinkware. All right, there you have it, Margaret. That's the regular prize pack. Stay on the line and uh, for your ASI prize packet. Thanks for playing. Oh, I could have delivered that Thanks. next week. I'll be there in North Carolina. All right. <laughs> um, on line four, we have Sapphire. Good morning, Sapphire. Hello. Did we lose Sapphire? Hello. Sapphire? Did we lose you? Sophia. Oh, Sophia. <laughs> Sophia? Oh. <laughs> Sophie. Sapphire. Anyway, Sophie's not there either. <laughs> Why is everybody drunk? We can't hear. <laughs> Can I see the card that said Sapphire slash Sophia? Sophie, are it's you there? Sophie. <laughs> you got Sapphire from that? I was just glancing at it quickly. I think you might need some glasses. I think I do. So <laughs> Sophie's not there, though. We okay. lost Sophie. Or we lost Sapphire. Sophie. We lost Sophie and Sapphire. That I called her Sapphire. Sophie, call back in, and we'll put you right back to the top we of the will. list. We <laughs> will. And we'll call two. you Sophie this time. We have Peter. Good morning, Peter. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. I would want to try to stab at one of these quiz questions. Okay. Now, this is, um, hopefully you've been listening for a while, Peter, because I'm going to give you a hard one. Uh -oh. This is named okay. Six Famous Guests, other than us, because, of course, <laughs> um, that we've had on the radio show. You know, we have a lot of celebrities, a lot of people who speak at our shows on the radio show. If you can name six, you're going to win a giant prize pack. All right. Laura, Laura Bush. Yes. yes. Um, who is the graffiti guy who is just at one of your, oh, Eric Wall. Yes. Yeah, we um, Dame, Damon, Damon John, right? Ooh, Damon John, yep. Um, 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 three um, more, three more. Uh, Michael J. Fox. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Two more. Uh, does Joe Haley listener. count? He's, he's kind of an You know what? Joe player. Haley does count. <laughs> Right. We're going to give you that. No. If you can come yeah. up with one more, we will count Joe Haley. I think we should give him a uh, hint, though. He's done so well. We gave him Joe Haley. Oh, whose line yeah, is it anyway? What? Was That's he the hint. Oh. Oh. Whose line is it anyway? It's a good hint. Um. <laughs> what? I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> I that's, think. That's not, an, that's not an official. I think what just he happened said to Wayne Brady. <laughs> that was Wayne Brady. Was that? Did you say Wayne Brady? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. You got it. We did. All right. <laughs> All right. That was really good. And he came up with some... Um, Michael J. Fox was quite some time ago, so um, we only have, we only play that every other week as the as the oh, yeah, pre show. So. You're obviously a long time listener. Congratulations, Chris, stay on the line for your A side prize pack. Who Wait, else was? Can we that? all can we all wave? Guess who's listening to the show right now? Who? <laughs> Billy Boo. Billy Boo. Oh, Billy, 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 Billy Boo. Boo. Billy, call us two one five nine five three four nine seven nine. I say four Billy nine, Yay, seven. and Billy Boo, you can answer a question and win a valuable prize. <laughs> Am I the only one who can drink it? Are, it's off the rails are already. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, on line five, let's uh, talk to Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi, hi guys. Okay, um, Bruce. I like you're having fun over there. We are. <laughs> yeah. Um, which host, um, which radio show host is a soccer junkie? Now, you know, we all, many of us watched the World Cup last week. Mm -hmm. and we're really into it. But someone is more of a soccer enthusiast than others. Who would that be? I think that's an easy one. I'm going to say Joe Haley. Oh, yeah, got that's it. right. Winner, winner. All right. Yes, thank you. And, and my local team beat Andy's local team on Wednesday. It wasn't oh, even a contest. Whatever. It wasn't even oh, a contest. Geez. Whatever. Rub Red it Bulls in. Barely got off the bus There's at their own stadium. Coming sometime soon. Oh wow. Well. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. And are you coming down for it? Yeah. You and Jason. We'll see. Come on, man. All right. Well, congratulations, uh, Bruce, and uh, we're going to keep you on the line and give you your ASI Radio Prize Pack. Ooh, have, thank uh, you. Any a Sapphire called back yet? We have a couple Actually, questions. Actually, we do have one more caller, and her name is Katie, not Cantania. <laughs> <laughs> Just Katie. Why would I say that? I don't know, because you somehow got Sapphire out of Sophie. <laughs> Hi, Katie. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys? Sounds like, a, sounds like a fun show this morning. <laughs> it's really fun, and it's going to be even more fun for you if you win uh, All right. ASI Prize Pack. Um, this is a difficult one, I uh -oh. think, because I oh, don't know the great. answer. <laughs> but the question is, what was the show's original theme song? I know. Shh. Don't tell her. I don't know. Theme song. Can I, I get a hint? Remember. Why don't you give her multiple choice? Okay, Laverne and Shirley's one, right? Laverne and Shirley. Um, let's say uh, Coldplay. Okay, I'll go with Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Wait, we're not done. <laughs> Wait, we, you, I'll give you four. 
<laughs> Coldplay, Laverne and Shirley. Jet. Um, is Coldplay a Cold song? Play Jet. Is a group. Coldplay is not a or song. Or Red Hot Chili Peppers. Those are not songs. Are Snow, you okay? <laughs> Snow by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Snow by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I know Chili what it Peppers. is now. I'm sticking with Laverne and Shirley. Okay, it's Jet, right? Isn't it? What no, it was yeah. Snow by the Red Hot Chili no, Peppers. No, it wasn't. I just yes, wanted to be your no. girl. No. Are you going to be my girl? No, the first one was Snow, and then Rich thought it was too downbeat. He wanted us to get something. I think I'm, Kathy's right. I actually. am right. I'm totally right. I 100%. think Kathy so is the right. the jet was second. I, I'll, but I'll I think you should that. give Katie the prize pack. <laughs> Katie, we're going to give so you too. the prize pack anyway, even though you said Laverne and Shirley, which – We're going to throw in the cork. We can't imagine why we would have given – made Laverne and Shirley theme song be our theme song as well, but – well, well, you know, Shamil Shamazel. Well, shit. It's, it's another <laughs> motto, Andy. Don't we skip down here every I guess, morning? you know, Shamil Andy, Shamazel. Andy and Joe, you can see as I'm sort of a, Andy and Joe could be sort of a Laverne and Shirley. I don't know, Wendy but I'm excited Wendy. about our next caller. Woohoo! Okay, who is it? Goodbye. Billy, Billy yeah. Thank you. Oh. On line two, we have message. our friend Billy Boo. Hi, Billy. Hey, guys. What's going on? How are you? You know, just drinking a little champagne, talking to industry Would people. you like some champagne? I would love some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You okay. know, Michelle, I can't turn down a nice drink. I know. i got to tell you guys, so Billy Boo and I spent a lot of time last week together in Chicago at many parties, many I'm sorry events. for the both of you. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> it was great. All right, Billy, you ready? Um, this, there's a lot riding on this question. I mean, a lot of prizes. So oh, this no. could be life-changing, <laughs> I would say. All right, here we go. Which host, which ASI radio show has an aversion to social media? And I'm going to make an addendum here. Because this person actually does like Twitter, but she just says she, she Oh, and you, get, and you, and you she say hates she. hates social media. Oh. Yeah. So what I think she. social media, it's all forms of social media except, except Twitter. Twitter. And apparently it's a girl. So what do you think? You think it's Kathy, Michelle, or me? Hmm. Let's see. I would have to say Kathy. No. Uh, guess no? again. We'll give you another guess. <laughs> Michelle or Melinda? We'll give you up two more guesses. Yeah. <laughs> See, she has a fake of her, and she's like, oh, yeah. I hate social media. Oh, but I have 2,000 Twitter followers. <laughs> There's no way. I know, right? But That's anyway, crazy. She likes, That's to, crazy. she likes to complain about those types of things, apparently. Yeah. Anyway, you have, um, we're sending a big ASI radio prize pack your way. So thanks for calling, Billy. Man, that's awesome. I, did, I didn't want to answer questions. I just wanted to thank you guys for all you do for the industry and uh, all you do to make it a better place to work. And uh, you, you guys are a fabulous group of people. And uh, just wanted to say thank you. See, that's oh, why, I, Billy. That's Thanks, why Billy. I call you Billy Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <gonna> sh- <laughs> Billy, I'm going to shoot you an email later today. I was thinking about what we talked about at the show. Oh, oh sweet. Awfully sweet. cryptic. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not telling you what it is, Andy. Cryptic much? I'm, that's right. I'm not telling you what it is. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for calling, Billy. And say hi to Y'all have a great day. First. Take care now. Take care. Sorry. Bye-bye. All right. So um, most of us are, yes, most of us, most of us in this room <laughs> were in <laughs> Chicago last week. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Here's what's wrong. You and I are the only ones who can hold our liquor. Jeez. <laughs> I've only had one sip. I can hold it. <laughs> Most You're of already us. slurring your words. Like, what is wrong? Whatever. <laughs> Most of us were in um, Chicago Early last Chicago. week. We had a lot of events going on. We had the ASI show. We had um, the counselor awards. And then last Friday, we had a day-long counselor best places to work conference. Lots going on. Michelle, what was your favorite part of the week? <sighs> Two things. I love the counselor banquet, as we call it, the counselor prom. Um, I thought that that was great with some people that we know uh, won awards. I thought that was fabulous. It was very well done. But I love the best places to work comments. I thought it was great. I thought the content was fabulous. People were scribbling notes. People got really, really great ideas. I love Jim Martin from Numo, love. who has the great. the nurse practitioner come in once, was a couple times a week. Yep, twice a week. And treats um, his staff with you know inoculations and sore throats and things That's like that. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was. And great. he has a personal trainer who Joe and. Andy and I experienced Stella come in, is it three days a week? Yeah. For an hour and really put the people through their paces. I mean, we went through her. There's training. a vine of Andy passing out. There are. There is. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, we were it's doing sprints and, uh, you know, all kinds of crazy things. Um, but the interesting thing, Michelle, not only do employees love it and they feel better and they're more fit, but um, he's thinking that it's going to really help him save on health care costs. So it's a great benefit for employees and also, you know, potentially a savings for him. He gives his employees 100% paid health care so as a result then he's got to look for ways to really reduce you know those mm-hmm. premiums yeah. and you know keep people healthy you know with with bringing in that uh nurse and people can go and see that her during the day you know they might not go to the doctors if they have to miss work 
right. clock right. out and miss that time. Yeah, if you they come and they're sick and then you yeah. infect other people, and then they become sick and then you have lost man hours. Or then you're out for a week with yeah. the flu. Right. So this is a smart thing to do. Bring the nurse there to them, and they're still going to stay there and work. They're going to get you know the medicines they need, the checkup that they need. Not and only family that, member right? Yeah, that's too. what I was going to say too. It is a huge wow, benefit. That like that's good on the free too. No, that's great. Right, that's good on the company end because it. It will definitely help reduce healthcare costs, but what a great benefit! Yeah. You don't have to Absolutely. leave work. You can fit in the doctor visit, you know, during work. You can bring your your family to visit the doctor yeah. as well. I would love that. You know, yeah. that's a, that is a fantastic idea. Um, the other thing they do is health fairs a couple times yeah. a year, and he said that's really where they discover people who have big problems like right. diabetes and things who never go to the doctor, but you know, all of a sudden they get their BMI taken and their blood sugar right. and everything, and you know, they they can identify people who have big problems early on enough. On mm-hmm. in the process where they can really help them and get them the care that they need. So that's that, that's cool great. Too. That's a great. I like benefit. Tom Havens too from Catalyst. I he was too. my other Who favorite. Said that he lets his dog um, sit out in the <laughs> lobby and they keep potential interview candidates waiting for 10 to 15 Damn minutes it. to see how they interact with the dog and also right. the receptionist who he calls the VP of first impressions because ah. he wants to see how if the p- person treats the receptionist kind of you know in a demeaning way because they're you know a quote unquote mm-hmm. receptionist but she's really there to kind of assess the person and their personality but the dog I yeah. love that they let the person I like that too dog. you know there was something else he said that I really liked that really it just stuck with me um, he was talking about the interview process at his company and he said every person that he interviewed he always asks the question, what's the biggest misconception about you? And you think about that and you could you probably think that there's that, you know, something you could answer about that. Well, he said he's actually looking for a very specific answer, which is there is none. I am who I am. And it, it, everybody who meets me should read me as to who I am and there shouldn't be a misconception about me. Um, because so it's you a pretty say interesting. what the misconception is really you are that like, exactly. like the example he gave, yeah. I'm going to use a, a, a salty word is <laughs> if you say, you know, I'm not a bitch. Well, the chances are yeah. you're yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. well, really not. Yeah, you kind of are. I, yeah. know. I looked yeah. at Michelle when he said that. Because he said, you know, we don't hire bitches. And Joe leans over to me and goes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it was a, I had never thought of that. Uh, you know, I've done plenty of interviews and, and spoken to plenty of people who were interviewing for jobs. I've never heard of that. And I think it's a great, a great idea. We were there last year. Yeah. And he spoke of the statue in their, in their lobby, mm-hmm. which is actually a, a it's huge a knight in shining pink. armor. It's a pink. knight. Yeah. Pink, sh- pink yeah. armor. Pink shining armor. What? <laughs> pink. You know, um, pink. the other thing that I really liked that he said um, was he basically only hires people out of college, which is yeah. an extremely unique model for our industry. And he hires them, he trains them, and now he's at kind of a level where some of them have been there five to seven years are getting them promoted into higher levels and things like that. Um, that's very unique for our industry. Yeah. And I think that more people, you know, should see the potential of having some young people in their organization. The other totally unique thing that they do is they do group interviews. So a candidate like will like twenty three right, people. Yeah. A candidate will I've will heard meet of that. with um, will meet with you know one the human resource person, the person that they would report to one on one. But then they will have them. They'll just have everybody at the company, whoever's there that day, go into a room and then talk to this but he one said person. It could be twenty three people. It could yeah. It could be t- twenty plus people and and then just see how they interact. It's they're not really throwing questions at them they're just kind of interacting to see how they would fit into the culture that, well that and he said you know idea. a good yeah. percentage come out smiling laughing saying oh i had the best time right and then a small percent come out and are clearly like horrified and he knows right. those are the people that are not yeah. going to fit in yeah. right you know and, and that it's was one of the idea. themes of the conference was the corporate culture that a lot of yeah. these companies have whether it's having fun there whether it's you know assisting each other working together on projects uh you know being a complete team customer service uh, everyone talked about their cor- corporate culture at their uh place of business well it was a great event um andy the best places to work issue is coming out in september correct yes it is and the list which we announced at Mm -hmm. the conference actually is live right now and you can view that uh on counselormag.com and that list will also be the september issue um plus with write-ups of all the companies that we visited on our best place to work road tour so a lot of good info in the september issue of counselor all right we have just enough time for michelle's (laughs) favorite part of the show where we editors talk about their favorite products of the week michelle why don't you start us off Okay, my product is from Admins, which was this year's Supplier Entrepreneur Company of the Year. And it is little lip balms in the shape of mini beer cans. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Do they smell like beer? You know, I don't know. But you can they have the logo. Yeah, there's a yeah, hundred different flavored. styles yeah. and everything. So they are ASI 31516. Actually, they might because it says they come in a hundred different flavors. Yep. I bet you got. I bet you got your beer flavored bomb. You I got. Bet you. I, bet <laughs> you, I, bet you, I bet you got. Uh, Joe, you're Yo. standing up, so I we're am. gonna let you go next. All right, so I have some golf tails here. Um, they're all trifold. 
they come with a grommet and a hook, and you see they have a great spot for an embroidery logo on the bottom. This one's done horizontally. Oh, we're Again, going. Oh, horizontally. Watch out, watch out. Don't. Okay. I'm trying to go through these Jeez. quickly. We like the shampoo. Vertically. Guy. And yeah, how about that? And of course, another one vertically. Come a variety of different colors. Golf. If you call one eight hundred golf towel right now, sorry. Golf towels make a great <laughs> product if you're having a tournament for your clients and your vendors. If you're sponsoring a local tournament uh, for uh, gift shops or you can know, pro shops for golf leagues or any type of golf for the school leagues, will be starting soon at the end of the summer. You can find these uh, from Cotton Love online at cottonlove hyphen cotton hyphen love dot com. Andy, what do you have? Right. Mine is also in the golf area. It is a divot repair tool, which is a unique accessory for golf tournaments. It comes with a divot fixer, a ball marker, a bottle opener, a cigar holder, and a club rest. It is an all-in-one tool. It's great for any charity events. Uh, it comes from Hat Trick, which is ASI 80303. Kathy, why don't you and bring And mine us home? is also alcohol-related, like <laughs> Michelle's. Go figure. Uh, mine's from Adenar ASI 31518, and they offer brand-new Imperial Wine Drinkware. Um, it's vacuum insulated stainless steel wine cups that keep your wine cold nice. like, for a long time. So yeah, check it out. You need that. They come in a variety of spiffy colors in their gift box, so perfect spiffy. for the holidays. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we are out of time. Thanks today for um, listening. Thanks today's show sponsor Haynes, and most of all, um, happy anniversary to ASI Radio. Michelle, thanks for arranging this great party, and happy 20th anniversary to Joe Thank Haley. You. Have a great week, everyone. Happy, happy. <laughs>